I really welcome back to the next in my updated for 2024 series about modding uh, PC Daisy community servers. And in this one, we're going to be looking at how you can edit the uh, crosshair third person and uh, personal light settings on your server to give it a little bit more of a hardcore feeling or maybe to make it easier depending on which way you want to go. But before we start, I just want to remind everybody that in the description below this video, you'll find a link to this playlist, which is all of these updated videos in. Hopefully I've tried to record them in somewhat of a logical order, but maybe you know some of the stuff already so you can pick and choose what you want to want to uh, work your way through also there should be a next video and a previous video link so you can go backwards and forwards and kind of look at them again in the order that you want to and also a link to my console updated for 2024 daisy community server um uh, modding guides because some things are a little bit different and what we're doing for example in this video although the theory is the same the way that we do it is different anyway let's crack on so we've with with pc servers we're always talking about things in these videos about nitrado because that's where i've got my server so you'll go to nitrado you'll click on the web interface to get you to the dashboard for your particular server you go to settings general and already in a previous video we discussed how we're actually going to be doing this in expert mode um, so we make sure that we've gone over to expert mode and then we go to the expert mode settings now if you're not with nitrado um, and you don't have these settings, what you will have, and in fact you can, I think you can access these from your child anyway, but you will have the server dz.config. That's the file we're playing around with. So if we scroll down a little bit, um, make sure you've stopped your server first so these changes can take effect. We can see we have these settings here. Disable third person, disable crosshair, disable personal light and lighting config. So as you can see here, to the right of these forward slashes, we have nice little helpful remarks put there by the devs to explain what these things mean. So normally, with all settings in Daisy, whether that be like in the server dz.config or it be in CFG spawnable types or in something, you'll have different... Um, uh, things that will mean yes or no so you could have zero and one well sorry no and yes zero and one you could have true and false you could have yes and no or you could have a number sometimes like there might be a number like 352 or it could be a word so just watch out for the format that that it is and also sometimes if you look at some of my old videos or maybe this video in the future the devs are partial to sometimes changing this so something that was zero could now be true. So if your disabled third person equals and it says false, you know they've gone over to true and false rather than in this case, which is zero and one. So if we want to disable third person on our community server, we would change that to one. So that means true or yes. So if we were to then save and then restart our server, players could only play in first person. Similarly with the crosshair, at the moment it's set to zero or false, so the crosshair is not disabled. So if we want to get rid of the crosshair to make it a little bit more difficult to aim, um, I guess really it's really in third person, isn't it, you would use the crosshair. Um, we could set that to one, again, save, restart, and then that would be disabled. And then we've got personal. Now the personal light is disabled um, to start off with and to say and the personal light is you know on a really really dark night in Daisy You can't see anything if you don't have if you do have a personal light So disabled personal light is false. So zero your character glows a little bit <laughs> So that you can see yourself uh, You can see around yourself a little bit without having to bother using a flashlight or a chem light or a flame torch or, or night vision or something like that if you're just starting off with the Daisy, or you want a nice friendly server where it's a little bit easier for people, and this is, I would count myself amongst these, I would have disabled personal light set as zero. So um, so it's like a double negative, so it's not disabled. Again, save and restart, and that would mean that again, people would be able to see when it's really, really dark. Um, and there we go. So oh, let me just change this. So disable third person, on my server, no. Disable crosshair, no. Disable personal light, no. 
um, there we go. So there's those three settings. Nice and easy, but it can make a really big difference. You know, if you go from a third person to a first person server, if you've never been forced to play first person all of the time in Daisy, or even in something like PUBG, it really does change the feel of the game, makes it much more immersive, much trickier as well, especially in player versus player situations where you can't use the third person camera, to, you know, just to cheekily peek around a corner, you know, like we all do, don't we? Anyway, hopefully you find this video useful. Remember, hit save, restart the server, and those changes will come into to effect. Um, if it has been useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.